What you're looking at is an image, a set of images, from a spacecraft operated by the Navy. This is the SETI HI-1A instrument. It's a spacecraft that orbits the Sun with planet Earth. And I said orbits the Sun with planet Earth. What you're looking at right here, some of you I'm sure know what it is already. Um, if you're a veteran, if you're new and you've only seen this a few times, I'm going to do you a favor, something that nobody did for me 10 years ago. I had to learn the hard way. But this is nothing to worry about. At first, if you've never seen this instrument, you would swear that there is something being shot at your planet. Because this is identified. This is Earth. But a casual observer would have no clue what that is. Looks like a giant loop. Some sort of a <laughs> proton beam. It could be a lot of things. But you don't know what it is. Especially out here in space from this perspective, you, you really, you don't know. So I'm going to show you what it is. And this is something that nobody showed me. I had to learn on my own. So here we go. Like I said earlier, if you're going to orbit a star, you've got to find these places called the sweet spots, the L points, Lagrange points is what they call them. I call them the sweet spots. Number three isn't really used that much. One, four, five, and two are. One is where Soho is. We looked at Soho in the previous video. What you're looking at right now is the uh, SETI instrument. That's L5. There's one here at L5, and there's one over here at L4. That's a sweet spot when you're orbiting with Earth around the Sun. And that's what these are doing. The one I'm showing you right now is at the L5 position. This is SETI HI-1A. I'm going to prove to you that this is Venus. And this is nothing but a light anomaly. This will play tricks on you every time it gets near the edge of the spacecraft's field of view. Sometimes it's, it's even bigger. This is actually kind of mild. So here we go. I'm going to prove to you that that is Venus, okay? Like I said, this orbits the Sun with Earth. Here we go. This is the current situation of our superhighway in the sky. Look at it like this. Mercury is in lane 1, Venus is in lane 2, Earth is in lane 3, Mars 4, and so on. This is a superhighway in the sky. This is where the SETI spacecraft is, the one I just showed you. This is Earth right now looking from the SETI spacecraft. Let me take you in a little closer. Here's Earth, the Sun. This is Earth's orbit right here. This is where this spacecraft is looking at us. Okay? What do you see? Earth, Earth, Venus. And then over here is the solar wind blowing from the sun. See there? Venus, Venus. That's Venus. From back here, that's what the spacecraft sees. So when Venus, being the second brightest object in the night sky, gets close to the edge of its vision, it throws out this huge light anomaly, and sometimes it's even bigger. So I just wanted to let you guys know that that is nothing to worry about, not by a long shot. That is simply a light anomaly, and light will play tricks on you. It has been playing tricks on man for years. Light is very tricky. And that's just one example of how it can play tricks. And you have to know where these spacecraft are. If you just look at that instrument and not know, have your bearings on where that spacecraft is at, yeah, it's going to throw you off. But that is nothing more than Venus in the night sky. So I hope that was helpful. I wish somebody would have told me that 10 years ago, 9 years ago. It would have been very helpful to me too. So I hope this was educational. And... I will talk to you guys soon. During these uncertain times, I encourage you to be brave, be strong, be wise, and be informed.